I just wanted to do a quick little video talking about some of the upcoming upcoming weddings we have here getting started back up and how we're going to block off the parking lot just to conserve some spots for the wedding parties that are going to be happening in the afternoon. So let's take a ride up to the parking lot. We're going to take a look how we have it blocked off for the membership. So you're going to notice here we're going to have the lower spot blocked off here with some cones. We're going to leave the whole upper parking lot for the membership to park up top. It's about 95 to 100 spots. So let's take a quick drive. So one thing you will notice, we're going to ask for the membership to help each other out. When you park in a spot, try not to double park. Try to park as close as you can to the other cars. That way we can get as many members parked up top here as possible. You're going to have this lot and you're going to have a lot around the top here, which is about, like I said, 95 to 100 spots. You're going to see some cones here blocked off. And this is just really to conserve for the wedding party. So they're close to the, uh, the lodge and the grand ballroom. And we appreciate your help in this as we're trying to uh, get back into the swing of things. Any overflow parking, if these are already taken, is gonna be down front. So let's take a spin down front and take a look what that looks like. So if the parking lot's filled up top, then we ask you to come down here to the parking down below. You're gonna notice some carts that are gonna be staged on the left-hand side. We're gonna be driving the six-person cart to give you a lift back up but you can also grab one of the carts and drive back up top. That way you don't have to walk, save you a little bit of walking there. But we do encourage when you do get here, take a spin up top because as the morning groups finish and they leave, there's possibly gonna be some spots open for you to park up top. So check up top first, overflow parking down here. We appreciate all the help from the membership as we're getting through these tough times with COVID and we get back into the wedding, wedding parties and uh, wedding groups coming out and uh, hope to see you at the course soon. Hope everyone's doing well. Just wanted to end with a little video. Remember, the golf shop is open. We have a fully stocked golf shop here with merchandise and some new arrivals coming. So make sure when you come out to golf, you stop in and see myself, Ray, Sherry, or Cole. And uh, actually, let's take a let's go inside and see if uh, Cole's inside and what's new in the shop. Yeah, so just remember to stop in, check all the new stuff out in the shop here. Hey Cole, how's it going? I'm good, Greg. Well, we have a couple new things that are gonna be coming out soon? Yes, yeah, so a couple things that we're just putting out into inventory now is, first thing I wanna go over is the new Bushnell Tour V5. So this is the newest um, Patriot pack that Bushnell does. It's a very nice, slim rangefinder, fits in your hand nicely. Also, another feature, it has a built-in magnet. So now, when you're up against your car, you know, on the, the rails on the side, or even if you wanna pick it up with your club, the Bushnell, will stick to any solid metal surface. So it is pretty cool. They are $2.99. Also, if you're interested, you can go onto Bushnell's website and trade in your old rangefinder and get some credit towards the new one. So that's something you guys would do on your own. You would buy a rangefinder from us, go onto their website, put in some information, and then you can get a credit for your old rangefinder. So it's definitely something that would benefit, benefit you. Also, we have some new groups of clothing coming in. First off, we brought in a new company this year for the men. It's Travis Matthews. Kind of more of a slim fit type clothing, um, kind of aimed at like a younger younger demographic, but it is awesome stuff, really nice material. We also brought in some Travis Matthew uh, t-shirts with some cool sayings on them, so it's definitely something you guys are gonna wanna check out. Also, we do have a new Donald Ross group coming in. This is just one of the, one of the examples. That's a nice, beautiful Donald Ross shirt there. We do have a Greg Norman ladies group in and also a Greg Norman men's group that we'll be putting out shortly here in the shop. Now, do we have, uh, I think we have a demo day coming up here, July 25th, July right? July 25th, we do have a Zexio demo day. So one nice thing about that is we are doing a buy one, get one ball deal for Zexio. So Zexio does have a golf ball out. So if you buy a dozen through the golf shop on July 25th, you'll actually receive an extra dozen, so. And now if you wanted to try some extra, you couldn't make that demo day or some titles clubs, don't we have some trials and some uh, demo clubs in? We certainly do. So we do have a ladies set of Zexio basically a full set irons and woods. We also have two sets of men's XEO demos. Um, one is more of a lighter shaft, something meant for something, a slower swing speed, and then one meant for a swing speed that's a little bit faster. There. They just stop in the shop and take it out, play with it for the day, see how they like it. Yeah, exactly. And we yeah. also have Titleist demo trial bags. We also have Callaway demos and TaylorMade demos. So if you guys want to try some new clubs out, more than likely we'll have it here. 
Now, I know we've been seeing a lot of young guys hanging around the club with families and stuff. Now, I know you run a junior clinic on Tuesdays from 6 to 7, correct? Yeah, so my junior clinic on Tuesdays, um, like Greg said, is from 6 to 7. But we're actually excited to announce we're going to institute a second junior clinic now on Tuesday nights from 7 to 8. Now, this junior clinic is going to be aimed more towards more advanced juniors, juniors that are kind of past the the beginner level, kind of the more intermediate junior. This The second junior clinic is going to be more structured. It's going to be practice rather than, you know, fun games and whatnot. And they just call the golf shop to sign up for that or to contact you to make sure their name's on the list? Yeah, so if you have my, my cell phone number, you guys can feel free to text me or uh, call the golf shop at least one day prior just so we can kind of have a feel for how many kids are coming out and we can plan accordingly then. Sounds good. Well, hopefully we'll see everybody out at the golf, golf course here soon and improving their game and enjoying some fresh air. Exactly. Sounds good.